My wife yelled from upstairs. Do you ever get a shooting pain across your body like someone's got a voodoo doll of you and they're stabbing it? I said, no. She said, how about now? Hmm. Welcome to the Shave and Butcher Show. So I should call the channel, actually. I wasn't going to do a video, but I need to shave. And I just saw that my friend Matti Lindholm is really close to hitting a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So this video is all about rallying for 1K for Maddie. I should think of a rhyme, shouldn't I? Anyway, Matti Lindholm is what oh, the family group chat is. Isn't that annoying? I don't know why they do that. Matti Lindholm is one of one of my role models, inspirations when it comes to shaving, especially straight razor shaving. And out of the YouTube community, uh, he's he's one of the of the persons I enjoy watching the most. He's a good friend. He's from Sweden, just like me, and uh, he's just uh, a way better straight razor shaver than I am. And also, he makes all the shaving gear you can think of, pretty much. So, shave today is going to be with uh, essentially his stuff. He's, he's made a double-edged safety razor that I've got packed because I'm selling the house and I, I'm not quite sure where it is. So, I'm using instead his favorite straight razor, which is a Swedish CV Heljestrand. This is an MK31, which is his favorite. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. And the soap he made, and this is DK, DK's Arctic Freeze. It's uh, inspired by another friend of ours, DK Damn Fine Shaves, who's on YouTube. And it's got shitloads of menthol. And it smells really nice. It's got a citrusy smell. Lemon or lemon orange lime. Fantastic, and it's heavily mentholated, and so is the, the aftershave balm. So I'm going to cry now for, for him. Um, this brush was designed by another uh, friend of ours and another inspiration when it comes to straight razor shaving and YouTube videos, Frank, Frank Strömberg, who's no longer with us. Um, uh, he designed this brush and Matti made it, so it's an Omega board brush in it and uh, it's a handle that Matti turned and he put he put the knot in so in a way this is a, a little bit of shave for Frank as well oh god there will be there will be tears um, I've, I've grown to appreciate mentholated leathers especially in the summer not that it's summer now, um, I I'm still am not used to it. It's <laughs> it's still pretty painful. It's nice because it's refreshing and everything, but I, uh, I I weep. There are tears coming out of several orifices. Is that the correct plural for orifice? And this orifice. A hole in the body, I think so. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can make a shaving ladder out of that. Oh, so simple this set. Orange, lemon, lime. It's all you need. And if you it's, it's taste it's taste. It almost tastes like a lemon. Really, really is is the true nature of those fruits. It's almost like you can you can feel some of the peel of the fruit. Do you know what I mean? Nothing synthetic about it. Uh, the soap base is also pretty basic. Uh, soy wax, coconut oil, shea butter, water, essential oils, and menthol. That's all you need. So he made that. He makes, he turns brushes and he, he puts knots in them and he gives them away and he sells them. 
and he made these DE racers and I, I bought one from him that he sold too inexpensively. I think I paid $80 and <laughs> stainless steel, handmade. He spent a lot of time designing, a lot of time making it. It's, it's really good, beautiful. It's a pity I, uh, I could find it if I spend half an hour in the basement, but I won't. Um, the man can do almost anything. And uh, he and Frank and Dave Card are my, you know, are, are, are the, the YouTubers. Although Dave doesn't make much YouTube anymore. <sighs> Mental. Uh, YouTube straight racer shavers that I, I learned the, the most from. Um, we made a we made a, a, a thing where a video a while back where Martin from YMMV Shaves YouTube channel helped us out with the editing. So um, the four of us shaved Matti, Frank, Dave, and I. Three passes, I think, I guess. So I, I made up a pass because so I only make two uh, at the same time and. Dave Card makes a perfect shave, three passes in three minutes. Frank can do it, Matti can do it. Um, it takes me much longer and it's not nearly as good or elegant. So I had to shave really, really quickly. And the others, especially Dave, had to shave really, really slowly. And still there was a, there was a, a time differential, but Martin did a, a spectacular job. Um, editing it so it turned out it was, and it was it was wow look at look, seriously this is Matti Lindholm's lather wow and tears are starting to come that was a cool little experiment we all miss Frank terribly and I shouldn't talk about him but it's it's hard not to talk about Frank when you think about Matti they were good friends they met up and here we go, here's for you, Matti. So, you should talk about Matti. So, Matti makes all these all these things. And he makes videos where he's, and he's such a good teacher of techniques, honing, shaving, building a lather, what have you. And he, he helps anyone out who needs a bit of help. He gives away soaps and razors. Look at that lather. Um, he gives advice. And, and he's, a, he's an entertaining guy. He makes very entertaining videos. He does the occasional drunken shave, which is like... <laughs> <laughs> screw everything uh, he's always well behaved even when when he does those oh, my ears get my eyes yeah I, I almost have tears coming out of my ears I need to send this razor to Matti for a home So he's a good sport and very entertaining. He unboxed a beautiful straight racer today. Really nice one that I, I would definitely consider owning. So that's coming up and there's always something coming up and really, really good advice on technique, especially with straight racers. So go check Matti Lindholm out. I'll put a link in the description. And you know, please, if you don't subscribe already, and I suspect many of you do, but if you don't, go and give him a sub. Get him over a thousand subscribers.
That would be cool. And let's let's do it quickly. Do it now. Come on. <gasps> Maybe I should make him promise not to put as much menthol in the soap. But it's a manliness test. If you can, if you can survive a, a shave with DK's Arctic Freeze, I'm sure DK puts additional menthol crystals in. He likes the stuff, but you know this this soap. Even Matti has eyes tearing up when he uses it. I've had a few MK thirty ones. And I end up selling them because I don't like them very much. And then I bought this one from, I don't know, did I buy it from, no, I bought it from someone who renovated it a bit too aggressively. So it's okay, but it doesn't hold an edge for very long. Okay. There you go. Can you see my eyes? Ah. And I think Matti still makes soaps. Soap. And I hope off shape bombs. Well, the off shape bombs are really good. I wonder how he does those. I wonder how the hell he does the soap as well, because in terms of the quality of the lather, To be, uh, and I'm uh, it truthfully, it, it's among it's some of the best stuff I've ever used. And I know it sounds impossible, because Matti's job is turning metal into beautiful things. Well, he's a teacher now. But the, the man can do anything. If you feel you need to limit the amount of YouTube channels you're subscribing to, you really should unsubscribe from me and subscribe to Mati instead. I would. But if you'd consider not doing that and only subscribing to Mati, that's okay as well. There we go. Another thing Mati is good at, and I, I tried for a while, is, is to shave elegantly. He shave, he does his strokes, and there's no soap left. And it's just aesthetically very pleasing to the eye. And like myself, who have, have soap everywhere. I'm starting to have difficulties breathing with this menthol. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Wait till the bomb comes on. It's even worse. But yeah, go to his channel, watch him show you with a straight racer and compare to what I'm doing. And fine, I have Parkinson's disease, which is my excuse. Um, but even without that, and even before that, that was a big difference in technique and elegance. There you go. Much, much later and we're good to go. Okay, rinse this off in cold water, cold Swedish water. Who remembers flash boredom? Holy holy the cold water makes it worse. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not joking, this is horrible. On a warm summer's day, it's lovely. 
I've done outdoor shaves with this. I even think I have one on video. And then it's quite, quite pleasing. But it's painful. Okay, let's see if we, let's see, this is, this is getting old. Let's see if it's still good. Balm has a shorter life span than, that's a lot of balm. I need to do my head as well, so let's, just do my head. <sighs> Let's not do put it in the eyes, just I need to moisturize anyway. Shouldn't get it close to your eyes, but there you go. <sighs> I was not a comfortable shave. Matty would have done it so much better. Go check him out, give him a, a sub. I'll catch you on the next one and stay sharp.